Ark Muds, a thing Ark Survival Evolved had throughout its history. A lot of people like to do that. And while well, they're back in Ark Survival Ascended, and apparently a lot easier to do, create, make, supported by Curse Forge to push into the game. And well, I kind of wanted to see how easy it really is to make a mod, get an understanding of what it takes for a modder to get something made, pushed, sent out for you to play in Ark Survival Ascended. So after downloading the dev kit through the Epix Games launcher, which took a very, very long time indeed, it ain't quick at all, introduced me to a piece of software that I needed to figure out, understand and make my own concept and put into delivery within 24 hours. First things first, need a good idea. So after going through a bunch of rough, creative, weird and wonderful ideas in my head, it was then time to decide exactly what is that delivery looking like. And after some quick illustrations, we'd got a concept, Ras Cloud in my head, a poisonous cloud you could perhaps place in places for people to get poisoned if they ventured in. And perhaps even more, we could develop it even further to a stink cloud that maybe even was emitted by somebody's bum bum. So, you know, there we go. We got a symbol, a construct, a brand and identity for you to understand what a brass cloud is. It's methane coming out from someone's rear end. There we go. Funny stuff is funny stuff. But first things first, how do we get this into the dev kit? What the hell? What the hell? What? is going on we're still loading stuff with this what is this then is this a this is just uh i don't know what this is i will right, just keep that to one side i guess this is telling me things that i'm doing but never mind all that let's clear that for now unreal editor what do we do um navigation so i've played with 3d software before we can move left and right with our mouse we can zoom in we can push out if we hold the right click, we can look around. There we go. We've already figured out navigation. I can use the, the scroll wheel as well. I can use the WAST keys to move around. I can slow down with the pinwheel. Okay, I see a block there that somehow I've clicked. I guess if I pull that, I can move that up and down, which reflects with the lovely light. Look at that, a global light source, beautiful. Right, okay, so these are all objects the dev kit has presented to me how do i make my own objects let's let's find out so we're in a flat area now that we can i guess play with to our heart's content but what we want to do we want to make an object we want to make not a level an object so first thing i'm going to do is google <laughs> an empty mod blank mod creature template new structure mod Create a new mod with no assets. Create a blank mod with only the essentials. Create a creature, a new structure. Oh, hello, there's more. Range weapons, outfits, flyer template. Create a new flying dino based on the Tapajara. Create a new outfit, create a new range weapon. Create new structures, create a new creature. Create a blank mod with only the essentials. Well, none of these are helping me with the idea I have in mind. It's, it's, it's a placeable object that you can put in the game, maybe. Is it a blank mod? Create a new mod with no assets included. Create a blank mod with only the essentials. Let's go with this one. Give it a name. We'll call this uh, Rask Cloud. Content Drawer, hello, here we go. So, Rask Cloud content. Ragnarok DLC content, ooh. Assets. So here's an idea. If I go to Extinction DLC content, movies, there's nothing there. Genesis Part 2 content, Lost Island content. How do I access any of this? I want a, a space. What are, what, are all, what are these assets, bro? We want to use, I guess, the space where your implant starts to get burnt, right? That's, that's a good starting point for us. So if we can use that somehow, Forbidden Zone, Grey Box, Iceland, Ruin, Sky Sulfur, Wasteland, Arc Dome. Let's go back one. Um, effects, Environment, Border. Okay, this is interesting. Aha, there we go. So this is this is the implant thing. This is the area where when you go outside the borders in Extinction, this happens. 
you get this effect added to you. And in a sense, this is what I want to do. So, how do I turn that into something else? Is this anything at all that, that, that benefits me? Base pass shader without light map, 100 instructions. Base, pa base pass vertex shader, texture samples. So like, this is what I want. When you enter this area, like, can we just simply just go, let's go green, there we go. Now we're getting poisoned. Look at this, green, because you know, you're gonna get poisoned with dirty. Maybe we need it to be a bit darker, let's go. There you go, a bit dark. You, you, you've entered a stink cloud, right? So it needs to like feel a bit stinky. Stinky. There we go. We're getting stinked on. There's the stink cloud color. Look at that. We've already made the color we want for our stink cloud. No. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, how do we, how do we like move from that? <laughs> It needs to be placeable area objects that we assign this effect to. Right, so so what we're looking at here is a material instance. From my understanding of 3D programs, material is a layer. It's it's simply a color. It's an effect that's laying on something. So this isn't the, the, the object, the area. This is simply an effect, a, a, a layer, a image that goes over the top of it, which is cool. So first things first, I need to make an object. I need, an, I need an object, I need a, a mesh. What the heck is this? That is wind apparently. But the object, it's simply, it could simply be a square. If we were to drop just a, like a, a square in, uh, um, just any old square. Ice, lightning, roots, generic gameplay, item balloon. No, oh, these are objects from extinction. Ooh. Generic, here we go. Right, cube. Let's just, let's just drag, there we go, we've got a cube, right? Okay, so I've kind of figured out the navigation now, navigating my world, that's not too bad. I'm sure there's easier, easier ways to do this. There we go, that's me changing the grid. So let's do two, 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 okay, we've made a cube, right? Now I wanna make this cube a stink cloud. Anything come up? No, because I'm still on that folder, so I need to go to environments again. Rask cloud color. So can I just drag and drop that onto that? I can and I did, I think. Element, materials, Rask cloud color. Okay, we're learning. So this cube somehow has my cloud color, but that's the effect, that's the visual effect that you get on your player when you enter the area. Can I just play here, right now, right here, right now? Okay, so play this level. Right, I'm in. As, oh my God. Well, the game isn't a big fan of this. Okay, so there's the cloud. It's a smaller box than I first thought. Was, it, was this saying in the shots? In the sky dot. Cover that. <laughs> okay. So we can see here that this needs to maybe stop. We need this to be at least 10 times this size. Let's go for 30. What if I, what if I, check curiosity. Okay, well, we figured out how to get in the game. I figured out how to move about. Let's just, for a minute, get an actual mesh. So now I'm curious what happens if I go to my extinction and then I go to, and then I apply it to that. I make it completely blick. Interesting. That ain't nothing. That ain't gonna give me nothing. That ain't gonna do me nothing because it ain't, it ain't nothing. Right, so the game knows to assign that a mesh even though this is a mesh but i can walk through this mesh it knows this has a border it knows this has parameters that i can't pass through and that's what i need to look at the parameters how are the parameters assigned and how do i get those parameters onto that but instead of them being unpassable they're passable but i tell them to be given the color the color yeah the color the material that that i just made ras cloud right so hit events should hit events when this object collides during a physics simulation it's not going to be this easy i don't believe it no way physics material override so let okay let's have a little play with i don't know this is dirt for a minute oh hang on 
I see my footprints. But they're anywhere. Okay, I thought I thought I'd, I'd figured something out then. I hadn't. Damn it. So currently we're loading the island. I'm going to see if we can find what the border is called. Oh, we're in. We're in. Okay, we're moving. Okay, so we're in. We're on the map now. How about that? So what I want to know is where is this world edge? So this right here is the world edge. I've identified it. Island wall bounds. There it is. There's the baby right there. Okay. Island wall bounds. Static mesh component. So let's go to content drawer. Island wall bounds. There it is. There it is right there. Perfect. So what did the island version have that this didn't? So the island version of this was told to do something. It had an actor. This is what we want. This right here, in some degree. We want this placeable. That when you enter, you get poisoned, right? So how the hell do we get from that to that? Well, first thing I need to understand is how can I tell the game that this, when I enter this area, it's poisonous? Ain't a lot right now. I'm feeling way out of my depth. Okay, let's let's get an empty actor. So let's I don't know. Just find these. What is this? This has got like look lots of crap on it, and I don't know what any of this means. That's a door. Okay. Okay, so then we can just drag and make sure this is in the right place. So we've made a door, a gorilla door in Adobe somehow. Okay. Okay, so I've just, I don't know, I've, I've, I've done something here. So let's close this for a second then. I've, I've changed something else. I've changed Actor Finder. Maybe I shouldn't have messed about with this, but I've done it now, whatever. And then Content Drawer, Actor Finder, and then we're going to pull that in. And there we go. We've got a door, a new type of door in Arc, but a door nonetheless. There it is. So we're back on this again, and we're going to add Box Collision. Add Box Collision. But that's that, that that needs to be apparent. That needs to be under here, right? Can I move that down there? There we go. About like that. And about like that. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the event graph now. So we're going to take the door, which was there. Throw that in there. Set rotation. Set relative rotation. That one. And then, and then we're going to set actor begin overlap. Okay, and then we set that to 90 degrees to open the door. And then, let's minimize that. Let's go into this guy. I swear if this works, I'll be amazed. Oh, P. Oh, are you sure you want to play any of this? The following blueprints have unresolved compile errors. Yeah, 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 yeah. play, man. I made the door open. What? I have understood actors. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get this to close now after a number of seconds. Okay, so so we're gonna make now a delay. Of two seconds. Copy paste. Okay, so then we're telling the door zero and hit compile. And then, sorry, that's why the error was there. We're going to make sure the target is back to the door. Hit compile, save, and then let's play. So when I go out of proximity, the door opens somewhat, but not quite where I want it to go. It needs to go the opposite way. So its initial place where it moves to, I don't know why it's going there. That's back to zero, that makes sense. But where, why is it... Is it because of where I told it to go in the first place? Because I already changed it, its actor spot in the first place. I mean, I'm getting a door to move. This is, this is in essence what I want to do. I'm telling the game to do something when I get 
within proximity of it. Within proximity of the Ras Cloud, something happens. And I've figured out, I've learned how to, within the dev kit, to tell the game how to do something, which is great. There we go, we figured out how to reset it back to where it was. I don't know, but right now it's opening like 180 that way. Why? I think it's something I've originally done that I've, I've messed up somehow. So let's say, let's, let's do you 180. Let's just see what happens there. Compile, save. Kind of interested to see what happens here. Oh! And there we go! I, I don't quite understand, but I do understand I have made a door open and close when I get close to it. That's super cool. Dude, I don't know if I'm going to make this mud in time. 24 hours. Can I drag and drop you? No. This is a data only blueprint, so only the default values are shown. It does not have any script or variables. If you. When, I missed all this, man. If you want to add some, open full blueprint editor. Oh my god. Okay. So, <laughs> this doesn't do anything. I've just been informed. Therefore, as we first thought, it's this baby right here, right? This has stuff. This does stuff. There is all the stuff. Can I copy? Go to my door. One or more copied nodes could not be pasted onto this graph. We figured out how to move the events of Hazard to what? To the door. But it's not an area. Kill Z volume, right? Is that in the content? Kill Z. So that doesn't exist there. So it's it's it Mind is blown. <sighs> That now has the script that I've told it to become radiation. This radiation test is not a scene component and cannot be attached to other components. I wanna, I wanna like, the selected component is not a scene component and cannot be attached to other components. Feel like I'm sure. Screw it. What happens if I copy all of that into the door Let's, let's find out, right? My player should get hurt by touching the door. But I don't. None of that stuff's doing anything. Let's see what happens here. Now I've changed that. Let's just compile, say. Oh, no. All right, screw it. It's like roughly here, isn't it? Okay, I don't do nothing. Three hours later. So yeah, after trying a few things, understanding how action scripts work, I was kind of meeting a bit of a dead end here and knowing that Captain Fat Dog was also working on learning mods himself at exactly pretty much the same time as me, I thought I'd consult with the man himself. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello. All right. Yeah. Here you are. Um, <laughs> I've been having much challenge literally just trying to be my player and then I crashed and lost all my work. Oh, uh, do you? Yeah. Yes, that was fun. Nice. <laughs> just going to show you something. And then, and then I got nothing. Now I got nothing to show you. So this is what happens when I interact with it. So a gas cloud particle system will be uh, created. Right. Oh, yeah, that's emitters the particles. When yeah. I, that's like a visual thing. When I put the, no, it has character, where is it now? Uh, and I get actor location. So get actor so location. And then we then put that as that location. So yeah, that yeah. what happens on interacting with that um, the emitter that creates the gas cloud particle and then we can put some sound on it uh play sound 2d uh and then i can get like 
does that mean I can get a, where is it man, gas bags, not one of these, like XLQ, there we go, so that, that, that fart noise <laughs> from a gas bags, <laughs> don't know how it sounds, and then that should technically be, be it as the initial thing, because there's, there's the, the thing right there, but if I hit play, have you not put, you might not have put the, the mod in the primal data thing, this happens to me as well sometimes. Yeah, is so it working? Right. I mean, it... No, well, I'm I'm play right now, but I'm not the I'm not the player. Ah. But it sounds like I'm doing this the wrong way, right? Have Have you loaded this level that you've got here? Is this like the default level, or is this, this the level? This that is the mod yeah, trial stuff. That 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 is me uh, creating a mod, doing UGC create mods. And then pick in the where is it? Bring up your New structure um, mod. If you go down to on the left, if you go down to plugins, so in there, this is this has got a bunch of random things, but it's also got your mod files. So is it that okay. Ras Cloud content yeah. one or is it? It's one yeah. of those, isn't it? Yeah, whichever this. one of those is the last one you've made. Yeah, this is this one. Yeah. So what I've done is I've favorited that folder okay and then you can access it easily the, uh, yeah add to favorites yeah. oh yeah add to favorites yeah and then you can access it from that favorites thing on the left there left top left there oh. then you can get it from there and then i've also favorited like the all folded because i find it's i often but that one um yeah you often want to like search every yeah exactly yeah for something yeah, yeah so yeah. i favorited that it's and then idea. it's it's easy then to like flick between the two yeah so then you've got your um your level files there so mm -hmm. i open up one of those to work with what like this that that test yeah i don't know why it creates so many it's, it's weird i'm i need to look into it it makes uh i guess you've only got two there it's made a folder for me as well i don't know if i went on the wrong thing at the start uh, okay. um yeah so if, if you open that other level file there don't save that because that's like you you're not supposed to save all right any of the, anything that's not in your mod folder you're not supposed to save it because then like it all gets messed up apparently and you've you've got to verify your files then if you start saving oh stuff okay that be saved uh, where'd you select you think there's, there's like a details i don't know here. i think you're on i think you're on the wrong you're just on the wrong thing there somehow i don't really know how oh yeah try try do it again so if you do it like this, then trigger box. No, I don't know if it's. I don't know whether you were like editing the trigger box in general. The you might you might want to copy a trigger box into your mod folder and then place that. Oh yeah, I made this buff called it yeah. Rask Cloud. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, this is it, right? So, so rather than an action script, yeah, it's a... this is this has got it's all set this to you know about this thing here, show only modified properties. No. That's useful. So if you okay. if you want to see only the things that have been m modified, yeah. Then you go on that and then it's like brings up all the relevant stuff instead of you scrolling through it all. I use that all the time. So and how are you applying that to something? Uh, yeah, so it's a little bit messy as this at the moment. I'm working yeah, on yeah. cleaning it up, but um, here it is. So when oh. you be begin overlap, yeah, um, I'm doing some stuff to figure out whether it should apply it there, so you can kind of ignore that. Yeah, and then we've got this cast primal character, which you know about already. Yeah. And then just this static add buff. That's all there is to it. So you just put your, in your which buff you want to apply there. Yeah. And then for the character, get your character, and that's all there is to it. It just applies that buff. And then like you've got all your stuff in here for the buff that does everything without any code. It's well, without any blueprints. It's it's just like this is the particle emitter here. I've set it to the the bleeding one yeah and then it's got like um 
health, so values to add per second. So I've got health set to minus one, so health goes down minus one per second. Um, I've got, I've put this speed multiplier on it. I was just messing around with a bunch of stuff really, but put yeah. this speed multiplier on it so that that multiplies your speed by two. Oh, your st stamina drain multiplier, set that to zero. So there's all kinds of stuff that you can set on here without like messing around with the blueprints. Okay, that's cool. You can cool. set it to however, however you want, whatever. But but how 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 do you have that option available to you? That's that's like you 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 add that as you part mean, of the how script. Do you, you mean how do you make the buff in the first place? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's the same kind of way as what I showed you. So you go on mm -hmm. blueprint pla blueprint class and yeah. then type buff. Oh, it's just that. And... and let me see what it was called. So up at the top right here, you'll see parent mm -hmm. class yeah. buff base. So if I type buff base, buff base. yeah. Uh, it must be this one yeah. here. So it, it's like, yeah, they all kind of inherit from each other. So you, inside this buff base, you'll see there's other ones that other you could use within. as yeah, as, um, as a template. So it gotcha. depends what you want to use as a template. Yeah. I just used that buff base and like did it from okay. scratch kind of thing. But you could use any of these if you, if there's one that you feel is like yeah. suitable for what you want and you just want to tweak it a little bit. You just use one of these as your yeah. base. But then... How, how, are you, how are you applying that to an object? That's what I showed, showed you. You're applying that to the character, so that's uh, this bit that I showed you here. Yeah. Oh, that's... So... So this this is getting the character here, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh because you've already made it. You're then selecting that buff because you've already... You, right, right. Yeah. I, I get it, I get so it. You, you, you now you've made it, you select buff, it there. Buff class. Okay, so okay. that's adding that buff it's getting that, that you, buff that you just made. made right and it's playing that okay okay that makes sense so primal inventory is the inventory of the gas collector yeah primal item is the item that goes in your in your inventory where when the gas collector's not placed ah. it's in your inventory that's the item that's in your inventory yeah. That's the blue. The engram that's, entry. That's that's, that's the BP. The, that's the, the the engram. That's like the what goes in the engram list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then you've got something. just gas collector. So that's the actual structure. So you have to narrow it down to that one. So it's a structure item container base BP. That's what it says. That's the parent class. If you look at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Structure item container base P BP. Okay. So we're right clicking that. Uh, right click that, and I think you can go on create child blueprint, blueprint class. class. I think it's the right thing. Okay. And then you want to move that into your mod folder. Uh, or you just I drag think and you drop. have to dra drag it and then select move here. Oh, yeah, yeah, move here. Right, There's probably a quicker way to do what we just did, but. Also, I've put it in the wrong place. But we need to get testy. Um, so it's favourite that. That's favourites. And then we'll da -da -da. move here. Okay, testy. Which now has nothing. Oh, because of. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've got the filter on. Cool. Okay. There we go. There's a gas collector. So. Uh, I, I wouldn't stick that in there because then you can, Not yet. you can actually place it. Oh, you'll need. I just thought you'll need. Oh no, you won't be able to place it actually, will you? Because there's not going to be any gas nodes. So yeah, maybe maybe do actually stick it straight into the world now then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, run time. But well, yeah, this one you won't. Yeah, this one you, you're you need not to have anything to place it on. So. Nah, normally you need a gas vein to place it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so now you can open that file. Okay, and then we go to event graph. And we're drawing it straight in here. We need some kind of collision box thing now, don't we? Oh yeah, we make that's it. We're making the collision box now, and then adding it. Right, okay, okay, okay. I get that. Yeah. Well, let's just have a box collision so we know what it is, rather than box collision. And then so we're if you create... go into your 
instead of being on your event graph, if you go into your view part, then you can see how big that box is there. So you can scale that up or... Ah, uh, yeah, it's or the you, box. You can, there's two ways to scale. You've got your box extent there. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got your scale as well, so yeah, you can, yeah, so we can you can do it either way. And then <laughs> we can um, there we go. So we'll just make it a little bit bigger. So when you get within its area space, there we go. There we go. Great. That's lovely. Yeah. So now we need to do something with that. So oh, yeah, yeah. You've, you've got that box collision selected on the left, so that this is relevant to that box collision. Oh, so, so you've got like on begin overlap Cheats. there. Yeah. So uh, if you select near the top. On begin overlap, yeah. On component begin overlap, yeah. Yeah. So uh, rather that. than dropping it that way, you can select it from the right. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And then you need to make it do something. Yeah, so we Which say... You, you know what um, you're doing with this bit now, don't you? Yeah, sort of. Um, I, I accuse I, you of capping. You need to get your other actor and cast that, I think, first, don't you? Is that right? Uh, on actor, it's... begin over... It needs to be on, on actor, right? No. So you get that, that other actor pin there. That's the thing that's colliding with oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then that needs to be the player um, so I'm the uh, so yeah we're doing this you just, different you way around cut. aren't we oh so the, the so the, the the other actor is that's the cast is it, is it look it, it's it yeah on component begin overlap this is the overlap of the component not so I'm getting a little bit confused because like it was on on actor begin overlap before that's all um and then the character that's that's the um, that's get get actor location what, right what oh uh, yeah get the location that, yeah. that's get actor location and then it's sport and then we're going to create a spawn emitter at location and this is where we do and you can take your location yeah that's it where we go gas Creates of gas. Uh, uh, let's just do that one for now, and then that's that's the location, and then we're going to create a sound 2D play sound 2D gas bags exile Q. Okay, so that's that's it, right? In its basic sense. Hopefully, yeah. It should be right. So let's find out. Let's see what happens. Don't forget yeah. you need to compile that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about compiling. Save, it compile. Already did. Already it. So... Ah. Okay. Maybe it does it when you press play or something. Right. There it is. Is it going to work? <laughs> nice one. Hey, that's it. Mad's done. <laughs> we have a Ras clothes. There you go. Do it again then. Yeah, that's kind of fun, wasn't it? Let's do it again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. A little stink clay being made. Rass clothes. That's it. All I've got to do is just publish that job done. Yeah. There's a placeable object. There it is. Oh, there it is. Can't That's place it. Time. Damn it. No, snap time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there no. Must, there, must, there must be some other setting somewhere. But at least that's all linked up. At least you've got yeah. a program that's linked up to your primal item and your primal item's linked up to your structure. Oh, or something. Was, yeah, somewhere there, right? Like, and I get an understanding now of where to look about for these options. So bouncing through a few ideas, trying to make some things work and some things understand and and make any sort of sense of these parameters with meshes, collision boxes, and action scripts being assigned to them, everything finally clicked in it being told in the mud doing what we intended.
Try selecting Rise Cloud Warning on that none above replace references. Replace references. Uh, okay. Any reference to the pen and deleted assets? Yeah. Yeah. And then you should be able to delete that Rise Cloud and then take the one off the other one. <laughs> Critical <laughs> failures! One or more assets were put part. Partially consolidated. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, it's gone, whatever. Right, so now if we check this, this should say Rise Cloud 1 there, right? There it is, Rise Cloud 1. Oh, yeah. There we go. So we've changed that. Uh, all I need to do now is understand. That needs compiling for some reason. Oh, yeah. I wonder if the other one does as well. Yeah. That, that one was fine. Weird. Uh, all I need to do now is figure out how to put on floor. But it, yeah, it hasn't made a second. No, so if I if I type in gas, does that anything come up for that? No. So it's so it's replacing the gas collector at the moment. rather than creating a new entry. <laughs> Wait, can we do that before? What's that? The original Rast Cloud's still there. Where is that? Um, <laughs> it's still there. That, that... path testing gas collector stuff. Eh? How can it still be there when it's not there? I think some, something's got something... mixed up, haven't it? Yeah, man. There's some Look, kind of something bug. Five references. Just fast delete that. Let's hook everything back up again. Yeah, yeah. And there we go. There it is. Okay. Maybe that is that it? If compile might take a while. Is that all we needed to do? <laughs> to add it as an egg grab? Oh lol. Yeah. <laughs> but like I would have yeah. thought of that if it was just blank, but because the other one was popping up, How did that we was edit really the confusing things. Is it because How it was ref uh, referencing it originally before we changed the parent? You might have even done it. Could you have done it by accident before? I think I feel like I did. I, I had my hand held the entire you, time. You must have opened <laughs> the wrong one at some point. You gotta blame the teacher, right? Neither of us realised. <laughs> you gotta, gotta blame the teacher, right? All right, okay. Here we go then. I don't think not it's been there. It is. There Yay. it is. Yay. What? 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 I don't know what that means. You don't have a, a single point to spend yet. Oh yeah. Oh, so I need to make it to make make points. Oh, the hell do I? There we go. The bomb unlocked. Oi, 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 oi. You could you could say. It. To zero engram points, I suppose. Yeah, that's weird. That is, I might have to change that. All right, but we can craft it now. Oh no, not in. Didn't we? Uh, oh, so none doesn't work then. Uh, it's, I've got it unlocked. Oh, we can place it on the floor. Oh, what did you spawn it in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we just got this one hurdle. That's a surprise. I thought that was going to be a real issue. So, remove. Um, so, we've got additional structures to place. That's right. Additional engram blueprint classes. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, you shouldn't need that um, master item list you, you should be able to remove that from there okay so go on the drop down and then delete okay remove that then master item list mod name ras clark knob cheese <laughs> <laughs> ras cloud man get it right if this don't work it might be worth copying a different structure over like a storage box mm-hmm uh, an engram entry and a primal item and see if that works. 
All right, okay. Uh, nine. Okay. We'll take the one with it. Copy here. Test the content. Okay. Rename the mass post. Change the last bit to like test or whatever. You'll have to add that. In fact, open that file up and change the names in it as well so that. Just do a press the. Yeah, do that thing and just change whatever you need to change in there. You've just right. made that the resource type to craft. Thank you. Um, you don't mm -hmm. need to change any of that stuff. It's just the name, really. Okay. Okay. That's that, yeah? Yeah. Save okay. that. Mm. Yeah, change that to your RAS box. RAS box. Uh, just, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, that one's got give blueprint to play around. Yeah, I see these, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Close them. And just, then um, in your big file, you need to add that engram entry. Take that on as well. The box. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> it was that tick box. Was it that tick box. It was that tick box. It must have been. But why does, why does that? I'm confused. It must have been that why one tick not, box. Why does it not need that for, for the other one? Unless we, unless you accidentally unticked it at some point. Mm -hmm. Just check to see if that's on the um, on the or original gas collector. All right. Just out of interest. What? No. Yeah. Well, I don't know why, but it's working. It's it's straight. So. That we got it. There it is. <laughs> it's in the game, man. Let's look at Let's it again. Let's just take the win. Not Let's complain. Do. Let's see. Take the win, man. Ross clouds. Done. Thatch. Thank you, please. Oh, yes. And it's being crafted. Hey. Oh, three, you get three levels as well. Look at that. Nice. Place <laughs> down. Hey. <Eddie. laughs> hey. There you go. There's your Ross clothes. Turns out just initiating the idea isn't the hardest part of creating any mod. It's going through every little line piece parameter set to find out what's not allowing you to do that one thing that you want to do to make this mod work, which took and felt like hours to figure out. So it's been two days. Yes, I know we've gone past the 24 hour limit. I set myself to make a mod, but you know, that part was pretty much done. All we need to do is get the mod available to play. And after getting off the phone with Captain Fat Dog, I realized there's a few things I could do to add to this mod. One was simply changing the sound effect, importing my own sound file this time. Indeed, a fart sound to make it look like you're passing wind yourself and changing the crafting cost to fiber because who does on fiber in their diet when you're playing with methane related objects and we're back here and i'm aware that any mod that's cross play and being put out to playstation and xbox goes through a much stricter moderation set of rules to be able to be put out to people and thought maybe i would have enough time to get this done before we get this video done but no sadly not the case but i'm aware pc only mods are pretty straightforward so there's one thing extra that i did do to this that was bugging me that was the collision of the objects when you entered the box that you would be punching thin air and i was trying to figure out how to get around that and finally found it where was it somewhere in here i think in advance of collision there prevent damage tick that that 
changed, error problems, resolve that. So, we've now got a new version of this, but this one I'm going to send to PC and PC only. So, and this time I'm going to do PC only, and it's that one. This mod is linked to a mod already. So, oh, wow. So, in order to publish it as a PC mod, click here to change the mod link. Click here to reset mod link. Oh, I'm going to like mess it up though if I do this. Upload image. Okay, so we're, we're completely starting from scratch now. So, this might work. It's not a total conversion. Oh, no. I, didn't, I don't remember selecting this before. Oh, that might screw me up a bit. Structures. Oh, well, there we go. I don't think I changed that before. And upload. Is that it? Are we done? Already exists. Oh, you bomb. I'm going to call this the Ras Cloud Chamber. Okay, now we... I think we just wait now. Just checked it and... Not that any donkey. Just checked it and here it says and i just found out actually you can go into the general and change the primary category so i can change the original one to structures which i've done this, this, this. um i've noticed though in this in the notifications that i've got ready for review but for playstation and xbox and i didn't ask to do i wanted a pc only mod mate so what happened there? It's definitely not there then. Oh man. Okay. But I've noticed here, it doesn't say anything about being reviewed. Whereas this one, the original one, does say, until approved by a moderator, the project will not be visible to others. And I remember Overwolf or uh, CurseForge saying that a PC project goes straight away and then gets reviewed later i don't know why it's uploaded as a ps5 file as well it exists it, it, it's here on the on the main website so nor is it in my mods why oh, i thought we was done man i thought we was all done I noticed as well, I can I can actually add comments. Where is it? Uh, manage project. Um, allow comments. Yeah, well, that's allow comments, right? Save changes. I think it, 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 it does say there, one out of one. I think it, it, it sort of exists, but doesn't quite like it's, it's still figuring out something. I just want to, I just want to play this in the game, man. And see if it works. Und but it's, it says it's under review now. But on the main page, it says approved. But there's no file there yet. I don't... What, what's, what's next? Right, I just found out. <laughs> All I needed to do was link my Steam account to CurseForge, which means if I go to my mods now, ha ha, there it is. So at least for me, I can see it. I don't believe you can see it though. So at the very least, we can install this now and test it and see if it works. And available mods, Ras Cloud Chamber, activate mods. And uh, let's see if this works. Okay. There it is. Oh, yes. There we go. And can I place it? I can. Weirdly demolish the floor below. <laughs> but it works! Oh, that's great! 
so I guess we don't. I don't know how. I don't know why. What, it made the floor below invisible. What? Right, let's put it outside. I'll put it here. Uh, I'll put it here. There it is! Yay! <laughs> and that's it. We have our very own mud in the game that we could use that we made in 24 hours. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's great. So if you want to go make a mud yourself, go and download the dev kit. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And now's a good time to do it better than any time because there's a competition going on right now where you could win a lot of money if you make a good mud. Without knowing anything about mud creation, there may be a bit of help from Captain Fat Doug. And hopefully I can leave a link to that mud in the description. Maybe by the time this video goes out, you'll see yourself in the store to check out yourself if you want. Until the next one. My name's Ras Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, uh, peace out. So.